Well, we're gonna get into this MCI bus. It has a 24 volt, uh, 225 amp, I think it is, alternator that's not charging. The no gen light is not on, um, which it should be, but it's not charging. He did say that when he started it, it sounded like a bunch of screaming cats back in the engine bay for a couple seconds and then it went away. So we're gonna see why the alternator is not charging and it's not a good sign that it made a lot of noise. <laughs> Tim's bus just came in for no alternator working. Uh, we threw it on the 24 volt charger for now. And the very first thing I went to do was start checking wiring and stuff on it. And this wire, which I think is the field wire, I just pulled up and it was stuck on the... through and it was actually stuck on the um where am I looking at there on the corner of the alternator so I'm guessing maybe that was just grounding out we'll have to see that's not the way to wire in an alternator they got twisted together copper wire with the uh, electrical tape on it. The red wire that was melted to there is actually the relay wire. That's not the field wire. The, it changes colors. It goes from black here and then it goes to red. And the one that was red actually goes to black. Um, the black one is the relay wire and that is providing voltage from the voltage regulator to energize the alternator. So the alternator is not producing power, but it is getting the, the signal from it. Uh, the, so the regulator is working, but the alternator is not. This is very bad. That ball bearing is wedged in there, but luckily what it did when it wedged, the alternator seized, totally seized, but it seized where it pushed the gear in and down away from the drive gear teeth. So while the drive gear teeth are a little messed up, usually when this happens, the entire gear train goes out on these. It's an engine destroyer. So the teeth just look not a little bit, but this was pushed sideways, so it wasn't engaging the teeth all the way either. That's the only way it could have failed in a lucky spot. That's a lucky ball bearing right there. But that is a very expensive problem. It's a hay lance, but it's not really as bad as it could have been because this complete engine could be destroyed because of what happened there. There we go. What the hell happened here? That's where that wire was stuck. I could see that it was melted, but I couldn't see where like wire through it. Right there. It was stuck to it. I, had I mean, I don't, I don't doubt that the plastic was stuck to it. I'm just, I don't know that that's to the copper, is it? Yeah, I can feel the wire. Okay. When I pulled it, it was it was stuck to it. I felt it clip off of there. I was like, what? Mm. You'd think there'd be some kind of a fuse or something that would, uh, or just eventually burned all the way through the wire. But yeah, it definitely pocked it up pretty good. Probably just bouncing around in there. Yep. Tap, 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 tap. According to my book, the taper bearing is supposed to be on the outside, 
and on the inside is the ball bearing one. I wonder if when it got remanufactured, if, the, if it's possible to flip the bearings around. Maybe this bearing is supposed to be tapered. I'm not really sure. Either that or they just, maybe there's some modern upgrade that says it's okay to use that. I'm not really sure, but this was rebuilt, um, remanufactured or rebuilt three years ago. And I don't know how many miles he's done, but I'm gonna guess maybe, I don't know. I think the book says to pull it and inspect it every 80 to 100,000 miles. So you might have that on there. It is amazing that, that ball kicked the shaft over out where the teeth were barely engaging then. Cause that, that is seized up. That thing is not moving. And you can see how much more clearance. This is where the teeth engage on the drive gear. And by kicking it over, I think that saved the, I think it saved the engine. Did it weld itself? Or did somebody try to weld it? That fitting is leaking because it's coming apart. But it almost looks like JB Weld on there or something holding it in, but it's not. That's that's real aluminum melted. And those holes in the case. Looks like there's been some welding on there. I'm guessing maybe when somebody was putting the main lug on, they it slipped off and arced out and burned this all. This wire was chafed on there, but that clearly couldn't have caused all that damage. I think it was just because there's a sharp edge there, it wore through and it got stuck on there then. Right there you can see that's exactly where it fits. Um, there's no way that wire did that much damage to that aluminum. That's that's pretty deep, <laughs> and the whole fitting is worn away there. Not really sure. There's no evidence on the inside of any catastrophe, so I'm I'm not sure what explains that. But that's that obviously not the failure on it. I mean. I would normally kind of see this and think, well, that fitting was leaking, then it starved the front bearing of its oil supply, and that's why the bearing failed. But he just drove it a thousand miles after it made that horrible noise. He didn't realize the alternator wasn't working until he was into that trip. Um, and he only used two quarts of oil in a thousand miles, which is, if things got other oil leaks other places. So there's no way that that was starving that of, of oil up there. So I have no idea what caused the failure, but uh, he got really lucky. We're gonna drop the oil pan. Um, clean everything out, oil change. We're gonna replace that drive gear and we're replacing the alternator. Luke at US Coach is sending one out. Uh, new, new gear on the alternator as well. And then, yeah, the, the gear that's on the cam is getting replaced. New gaskets, all that stuff, new oil change. So it should be good to go in a few days. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. If they can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Mountain, where the 
the buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain, we're gonna get that big job done. 